Right, so welcome to this review video. We're going to be looking at our Dorset and Hampshire tour, which we really, really enjoyed. And in this video, we're going to be looking at three things. The first thing is, the most important thing, how much did it cost? Second thing is, we're going to be rating the campsites we stayed at. We're not going to include Chapel Lane because uh, that was just a one night stay. And finally, we're going to look at the days out that we had whilst we were on the tour. So I really enjoyed this tour and if you want to catch up on the tour, if you're not seeing all of it, there'll be a link in the description below and there'll be a card oh, a card at the end of the video. So you can click on the playlist and you can have a look either at some of the highlights or you could do a whole catch up. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so first things first, how much it cost. So looking at the van's speedometer, we did 743 miles. Uh, average consumption was 25.7 miles per gallon, and we were doing an average speed of 35 miles an hour. It's probably why there was a load of people behind us, isn't it? <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> could be. So how much did it cost? Now you've got a breakdown, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I created a project like I've done before, and I called it Thor's Dorset, Hampshire, June 2000. And 21, mm -hmm. surprisingly. And the breakdown of costs were car and motorhome parking. This was in car parks. You were using all those various apps and things, weren't About you? About three different apps. Yeah, £27.80. Yeah. Um, we bought an internet SIM for the camera we were testing while we were the, away. The Rio link. Yeah, that's £10. Yep. Um, we went twice on the M6 toll on our way down, and we went on the Seaton tramway. So I've lumped those together, that's £59.10. We bought groceries while we were away, did several click and collects, that was 40609. We put some petrol in the up before we left and we've still got a quarter of a tank, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, 4184. Um the motor home we filled up and topped up when we went shopping, 16653. Meals out, £187.84, so so mainly lunches and one evening meal. You know, we've been going out to lunch more often. Yeah, now. yeah. yeah. Um, museums and entrance fees, um, like Blenheim Palace and places like that. That was hard. Yeah, £88.90. And site fees, five six nine fifty. So obviously so, the bulk of our costs are the site fees. And food. And food, which we'd have to get anyway. Yeah. Um, so the total that we spent was one five five seven sixty. So it's roughly five hundred pound a week. Yeah, well, it's probably about a hundred pounds on shopping. So about four hundred yeah. pounds for each of these tours, isn't it really? Yeah. So I mean, it gives you an idea how much to budget for when you're going on these tours. Yeah. So then I've looked at the site fees, individually and per night. Um, Corfe Castle four nights was one hundred and four pound twenty. And that's £26.05. Charmouth, which was four nights, one 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 forty, twenty-seven pound eighty-five. Crossways, eighty pound sixteen for four nights, twenty pound oh four per night. Black Knoll, four nights again, one one nine sixty-eight, and that was twenty-nine ninety-two per night. Morn Hill, which was three nights, is fifty-one ninety-six. Seventeen pound thirty-two per night. Right. Blade and chains three nights. Seventy-four oh one. Twenty-four sixty-seven. And finally, Chapel Lane twenty-eight oh nine, which was one night. So five six nine fifty is the total we spent on sites. Uh, Black Knoll was the most expensive, and Morn Hill was the cheapest. Right. Okay. Which is interesting because when we look at our sites, that will yes. be significant, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so that, what are you going to do next? Will we rank the sites? We're going to rank the sites, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, miles oh, away. Right. So how did we rate the sites? Well, we rated them on the location where they were, the facilities, uh, things to do, and quietness. So this is in ascending order, and bottom of the pile, I'm afraid, was Morn Hill. Location was okay, a uh, little bit of a way from Winchester. Uh, Apparently there's a bus outside, but we took the car in, didn't we? Yeah, so it's all right if you've got a car or, or you know, 
or other forms of transport, I suppose. <laughs> Moped. Um, things to do, yeah, it was good for things to do, but what really sort of knocked it down for us were the facilities. I mean, unisex... Very dated, weren't they? Unisex toilets. Yeah. Really. Um, quietness, it was it was okay. Um, we didn't really get much noise there. No, no, it, we had quite a good night's sleep, didn't we? Apart yeah. from... The last night, oh, yeah. where um, <laughs> you couldn't exactly call that quiet because they were doing roadworks outside, weren't they? Yeah, the we emergency were... roadworks, but you, yeah. you can't. You, you can't. You no, know. I mean that's just a, a one-off. Can't just plan un for that, unfortunate. Can you really? We we were there yeah. then. But it, it is the facilities, and I'm told now that um, Morn Hill is going to be updated. The car caravan and motorhome club are going to update it. I think they're mainly keeping the bottom half of the site, as it were. I'm going to put it in hard standing and hopefully non-unisex toilets. Yeah, hopefully a no. new toilet block. So we'd love to go back there when we get a chance and uh, see how we get on with the updated facilities. In, I've got to think now, fifth place it was Crossways. So location was good. Uh, facilities okay-ish. Yeah, dated again, weren't dated, they? Dated, yeah. With the composting toilet and... Yeah, I think it was mainly the composting toilet and the, there were not many of the facilities were actually open. I think that was a, yeah, the main thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Things to do, yeah, no, that's fine. There's plenty of things to do, no problem with that. M marked it down for quietness. If you get a pitch near the railway side there, uh, it's going to be noisy. The level crossing starts at half six and the morning goes on all day, all the way through till about half ten or so. Mm. And uh, and obviously you can hear the trains going past. And uh, the other problem we had was that we were under the trees. Yeah, yeah. Because there wasn't much choice of pitches, was there, when we got there? And we had sort of like a couple of foggy nights where the, the mist was coming off the trees behind us, wasn't it? It was waking me up because it was right above my head, and really upsetting Poppy. Well, there were there were twigs dropping on. Yeah, the, on twigs the, and everything the, else sort of dro dropping, you know, a bit of a tree and all this yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, so she she was really upset when she you had to go and uh, sit with her in the awning, didn't you? One night. I spent a cold night outside. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd in frozen the out there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, in fourth place is Blade and Chains. Yeah. Probably a little bit disappointed that it wasn't higher than that, but facilities uh, there was no hot water in the, in the in the toilet block. No, boilers the, bust, didn't it? Yeah, and they, because it's closing in September, obviously they're not going to spend the money no. on a site that's uh, no. going to be pulled down, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we marked it down a little bit for that. Plenty of things to do. Obviously you've got Bladen Palace, Woodstock, Bladen, mm. Churchill's Grave, Oxford, if you want to go further afield. So loads of things to do there. So a lovely site. Um, quietness, we marked it down a little bit for that because, again, we, where we pitched was on a non-awning pitch and it was right by the road which is a bit of a cut through mm. boy races up and down and that's what it sounded like well, it was it? was it yeah, yeah. it seems to be a favorite spot where yeah. there's no speed cameras so they see if they can get up to 90 miles an hour by the end of the road don't they yeah <laughs> and there were some trucks weren't there it seems to be a favorite place for some trucks to yeah spend yeah. the night it's but... a bit of a theme actually this uh is it yeah noise. been parked by <laughs> so it wasn't too bad. I mean, we had better night's sleep than we did at some of the other ones we mentioned. Yeah. 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 So Charmouth is number three. Yeah. Location? It was a bit out of Charmouth itself, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, there wasn't a lot immediately to do no, walking around the area, was no, there? And, no, no. Um, again... Uh, I think it's very good for walks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we had a nice pitch in the corner, didn't we, down the bottom? But again, this theme, recurring theme. It was by we had a the uh, a cut through road behind, didn't we? And mm. they really did zoom along there. Yeah, they've got a bit more time to get up a bit more speed. Yeah, so. yeah but it was quiet at night. I mean, it, that started about six o'clock in the morning, but during the night it was quiet. Yeah. Yeah. We put the awning up there, and the facilities were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, really good facilities. Yeah. Um, they're probably one of the best toilets and uh, loo blocks that I've seen. Mm. Toilet and loo box? Toilet and shower blocks. Wasn't it loo of the year? 
It was something like that. <laughs> I can understand it. Yeah, I mean, no, it's it was... worth going just to have a look at the, t the toilets. It's not both toilet blocks. There's one that's better than the other, isn't there? Yes. But they are yeah. both very good. Yeah. Number two was Corfe Castle. Which is, is surprising, really, but I think it's just the the atmosphere on site, where, where our pitch was, which was in a nice little alcove thing, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, we put the awning up. You could sit in the awning and we could look through the trees to the hills behind. Mm. Had some good night's sleep there, didn't we? Because yeah. it was quiet. Yeah. Weren't really near a, a road particularly. No. So, but Ke it's Chemical emptying point was a bit interesting. It yes. was one of those um, French squat toilets, basically. Mm, yeah. You yeah bit, be really careful how you empty your toilet there. And it was the only one, wasn't it, again, which is, seems to be a thing yeah. with camping and caravanning yeah. clubs. You only get one. Lucky one, one or two sometimes. One chemical disposal point, don't you? Yeah. And then number one was Black Knoll, which we said was the most expensive site. Yeah. But the location was perfect in, yeah. in the New Forest. Yep. Facilities were absolutely immaculate really the laundry was brilliant yeah yeah, yeah. loads of things to do in, mm. in and around that area and it was the quietest of the sites that we visited which is surprising because it was probably the biggest site we visited mm. i think we were lucky where we were we were sort of high up weren't we um on sort of like a ledge thing yeah. and we were right down the end weren't we on the grass yeah. and it just it was just quiet yeah had best night's sleep there didn't we yeah. So we, we had some great days out whilst we were on this tour and I'm just going to mention a few. I think we'll probably mention all of them because... <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, we went to Sherborne Old Castle. We couldn't yeah. get in the new castle. No, no. But uh, no, that was interesting. We went to Charmouth. Yeah. Which was a nice little place, isn't mm, it? Yeah, um, that was the Jurassic Coast. Yeah, down by the harbour. You the, went up the, the cliff walk, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went to Weymouth, a busy little place, little place, big place, mm. um, probably worth going out of season to see yeah. a bit more of it. And obviously you've got the ferry there as well, haven't you? So that was quite good. Portland Castle, um, mm. that was very interesting. It's probably not our favourite castle we've ever been no, to. No, no, I think Poppy wasn't too keen. It was all on one level, wasn't it? That's right. Uh, the New Forest. Yes. And Winchester. Yep. So our highlights were Seaton Tramway. Which was great. I really enjoyed that. The little tram. It was yeah. great. We sat on it and not in it. I yes. Think <laughs> yeah. uh, really, really good. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, different as well, you know, a narrow gauge tramway. Mm. Um, D-Day Centre. Which was your favourite, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. beat... Well, I mean, it's a different type of museum because... You, you know, most museums, all the exhibits are roped off. You can actually climb on the trucks mm. and the guns. and They made a big thing of that, didn't they? And pick up the rifles. To use things, yeah. 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 So really, if you're in that direction, do have a look at that museum. Really good. We visited about four days after the anniversary of D-Day, didn't mm. we? Mm. Uh, you got Tynan Village, which was... That was my favourite, yeah. because I thought that was fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, so Poppy's favourite was Corfe Castle. It's got to be, yeah, because she loved rushing yeah. up and down there, yeah. even on a really, really hot day. I can buy it. It was hot. It was really hot Really, there. really hot, yeah. that was, yeah. And, looking at my list, Buckler's Hard. Yeah, which is a surprise, because I thought it was just a, an 18th century village, but I didn't realise there was a museum, river cruises and all that sort of thing, so yeah. that was... Yeah, it was that well, was really well worth it. good, that was. Yeah, lots of history there. I didn't yeah. sort of really realise its connection with D-Day either. And no, no. So that was sort of a you know a theme that was going on through it. Yeah. And, and uh, top in our list was Blenheim Palace. Yeah. And we hadn't both hadn't been there for many, many, no, no. many well, years. <laughs> well, I think that I went when I was six, I think. Yes, yeah, so I don't like remember I say, many, it at all. Many, many, many and years. Uh, you, I'm sure we went together when we stayed at Blade and Chains when we were with the Vista. I think but I we don't... did the gardens. I don't think we did yeah, the gardens. Yeah, no, no, we went in the palace. Oh, right. Okay. But I don't think there was, it was so well done, you know, with all the exhibitions and things. No. I just remember walking through some of those rooms. I remembered them, you know, I remember the long library. Mm. Yeah, so, no, we we had a quick look around the gardens, didn't we? Didn't really get a chance. We could have spent the whole day there. And... Yeah, yeah, it's just we we... 
uh, met up with some, had a lovely day with some friends yeah. who looked after Poppy when we went around the house. And they went the around the park. Isn't yeah, it? you can't take dogs in the house. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then we had a lovely meal at the White Horse in Bladen, didn't we? Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So no, that was that was a good day out, and I think that yeah. tops our list. We really, really enjoyed that tour and wish we were on another tour. So what have you got for us next? Norfolk Broads is where we're going next. Yeah. And we're also going for a couple of nights to the new Sherwood Pines site. Oh, yeah. So we're going to visit yeah, yeah. Sherwood Pines, the new uh, camping and caravanning club site. Uh, oh, sorry, it's the new camping in the forest site, site isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it, from what I've seen, you know, on, I think, Home and Hits the Road. When yes, yeah, and, yeah. and the Trolls, trolls there, weren't they, yeah. It looks really good, so looking forward to that. So I can't really wait to get away. I've got no, a list of jobs as long as me are. You've got a huge arm. long list, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I better finish. We well, better video. finish this video and go and get on with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you found this video interesting, give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember subscribe. Hit the notifications icon, and you get an update uh, when we release another video. And if you if you can, what it really helps is if you leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the tour and uh, any suggestions for our Norfolk tour or places to visit. Um, we're hiring a, well not hiring a boat, we're going on a boat trip Yeah. and we're going on a train, we're going to the Bure Valley Railway. Railway, yeah. So what are the sites we're visiting quickly? The sites we're visiting are Sherwood Pines, Sandringham for one night, yeah. Norfolk Broads, yeah. Inkleborough Fields, Graph and Water and Utoxeter Racecourse, Racecourse is our last site. All right, so that should be good. Mm. So looking forward to that. And uh, like I say, I better get on. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch up with you in the next one. Yep. Bye then. Bye then. Well, welcome to this video. And uh, in this review, we're going to look at our Dorset and Hampshire tour. We're going to look at how much it costs. Oh, hell. We're going to look at how much it costs. We'll rate the size and we'll let you know the favourite goes out. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How difficult can it be? I don't know. Right, so welcome to this. Uh... Hello.